everyone, welcome back to the channel. If I look tired, it's because I am. Our daughter, Haley Joy, is about four months now, a small life update. She still keeps us up at night, so I haven't really been putting out videos as often like I used to, uh, but I do plan to do a photo shoot soon with the Nikon ZFC, and my close friend was able to pre-order the Sony A7 Mark IV. So I'm going to do the unboxing of that when that comes in. Uh, but today I received from Nikkor and I was surprised I actually received this. The last time I talked to Nikkor was in July. Uh, full di disclosure, they are sending me this uh, for review. So I didn't expect this to come in and when they were telling me about the blower baby, it wasn't released yet. And I just received this in the mail and it was I was wondering what this package was. And when I was looking at the material uh, sheet and the listing of it was electronic air blower, uh, foam cleanser. And when I was thinking about it, and this is from uh, Hong Kong, and when I opened the box a little bit, I said, oh, this is the, the blower baby. So I saved the box here and I want to do an um, unboxing for you guys. So I'm going to start to unbox it now. And as you can see, a lot of lithium battery warnings here and here very curious about this I for many years used the uh, rocket blower and this one I'm holding in my hand is maybe about 10 years old and this is the newer version of this right here it's supposed to be way better Okay, as you can see, it's already here by Nightcore, Blower Baby. Okay, oh, additional stuff in the box. Lens cleaning kit, microfiber lens cleaning cloth, fine pieces and cleaning fluid. Really nice. And they, I was wondering about this. This is actually optional, the sensory cleaning filter. Okay, anything else in the box? Looks like nothing else. Also comes with, for me to review, the camera cleaning pen. Very interesting. Let me put the knife away. This Hasselblad X1D Mark II that I have right in front of me has actually just been purchased a couple hours ago by Peter Mendelssohn. And I asked him if it's okay for me to clean the sensor because um, with the medium format sensor such as this, um, possible on it is quite large as you can see here and the sensor sits very close to the lens mount so I'm going to just give this a quick clean once I um, open this up uh, and before I ship it out I'm gonna clean the sensor and I'm happy it came with the sensor cleaning filter and from what I've been reading on the website here the sensor cleaning filter actually lowers down the speed I'm set of 40, I think 41, 42 miles per hour speed. It lowers it down to like 30 some from what I was uh, reading uh, earlier. Okay, so let's open the main. I wonder the size of this looks pretty small. Packaging is really nice. Slides out like this. Okay, and it looks like the box opens just like this. Begin your new era of electronic air blowing. This is nice. Do not eat this, this card. Here looks like we have the USB-C to USB-B charging cable. And the actual nine core blower baby. I wonder if there is some charge. And uh, it looks like there's a small little, put this down here. Small little booklet, booklet user manual. English charging function, operating instructions, what the colors of the light mean, remaining power, different languages at the back. And I'm kind of scared to turn this on. I don't want to wake up the baby, but let's just see. Case blue. Okay. 
that is a little bit loud and that is pretty fast but it feels pretty strong okay let's put that on this side next is the camera cleaning pen pretty hard to tabs here there we go yellow tab to pull user manual looks like camera cleaning pen carbon cleaning tip lens cleaning brush clean pen body very interesting operating instructions and you can even attach it to the lens uh, blower the blower baby okay reversible magnetic carbon cleaning tip storage compartment for cleaning brushes again whoops nice packaging hope i'm doing this right do i slide this out okay it's really snug in there really snug in there wow this is nice and i assume you just hook it to the front This blower baby. Just like that. Interesting. It's another brush. Very interesting. And then carbon cleaning tip. This is the sensor cleaning filter, which actually replaces this. I need to do these. I need to do tests on the difference between the standard filter and the sensor cleaning filter. Packaging is always nice and uh, very solid with Nikkor. Maybe the bottom's easier. Okay, so lock, unlock. I wonder what is the difference? It looks like maybe a little bit more thicker with this. Arrow, line it up here. And you turn it to lock and that's it. Green. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty strong air. According to the website, let's see, this person's using fast cleaning mode, press and hold to turn on, release to turn off, contact cleaning mode, double press to turn on. I guess it just stays on if you double press. Yeah. Lightweight. Let's see what they were using for the sensor on the website. Oh, just direct air. Best to use a Nikkor sensor cleaning kit. Okay, so let's try this. Live demonstration. And behind me, uh, I still have the Leica S007. Um, I'm actually going to go outside. It's nighttime right now, but when it's daytime, I'm gonna go outside, take a before sensor, clean, sensor cleaning photo, and then after sensor cleaning photo, just to see. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold down. I, the center is pretty clean, but
That's a lot of air. That looks good. Old school way, Rocco blower. I always wondered about using this if you're just like re-sucking in the dust and spraying dust back onto the sensor and it's not like a constant flow. This one is really strong and loud, but that's the only disadvantage, it's just loud. So I'm gonna wrap this unboxing. Uh, really happy that they gave me the sensor cleaning filter, uh, regular filter. Uh, this brush kit, I'm assuming According to the website, it looks like it's for lens cleaning and basic cleaning of camera bodies. And this magnetic carbon, I gotta look that up. And uh, yeah, um, some new things to play with. Lens cleaning kit, oh, almost forgot about this. It's on the side. Almost forgot. Wow, microfiber lens cleaning cloth, it's wrapped up. I don't want to open this. Usage. Use a professional air blower to blow the dust away, which we have here. Take out a clean cloth to gently wipe out the stains. If storm stains remain, use a clean fluid on the cloth and repeat. Oh, so use it in conjunction with this lens clean fluid. I see they're giving an example of a camera lens to clean. I don't really do wet cleaning for lenses or sensors, mostly dry cleaning. But yeah, I think it's really cool they include all of this cleaning kit for me to try out. Uh, so uh, part two of the video, I'm gonna include it in this video. Again, tomorrow I'm gonna take a F-16 shot of the sky, clean the S-007 and retake the photo to see if I got um, a lot of dust out. Thank you for watching Guam Photography, and if you haven't, please subscribe. All right, we have some pictures here using the Leica S007. The left picture is showing before it was cleaned by the Nikkor blower baby, and the right side is after about 30 seconds of me really trying to blow the air uh, on the sensor using the blue sensor uh, filter. Uh, which is, I guess uh, filters more of the dust particles so it's not like re-blowing on the center itself. I did shoot this at f16 just so I can get the most visible dust spots and clearly I can see that the center is very dirty and after first looking at it there are some dust, dust spots that have been removed but I really think the sensor needs a, a wet cleaning versus a dry cleaning and I Try to take a visible area of the sky without that many clouds, but zooming in 100%. Like I said again, shot at f16. And yes, you can see a lot of the spots here. Again, after pictures on the right hand side. I'm trying to look at before and after if some of the dust spots were removed. On this area here, you see about two dust spots. And then here, you don't really see the dust spots as much. So I did get rid of some of those the spots, but pretty much it looks very similar, uh, the after picture. And again, I believe these dust spots are like stuck on there. They, the sensor really needs a wet cleaning. And it's kind of hard to get in the like S007 because the mount is very, very deep in there. Uh, so again, let's look at if there's any, uh, kind of hard to see because the clouds are in the way, but pretty much almost the same almost the same these dust spots are going to be hard to get rid of just um by air uh blowing um on the sensor itself i really think the blower baby is best used for like if you get the sensor brand new and if you want to maintain it but if the sensor is like this already like dust spots are like pretty much stuck on the sensor you may need to do the wet cleaning but I think the Blower Baby is a really great product. It really beats us using the Rocket Blower, um, blowing back and forth. It is just so easy just to turn it on and just blow the sensor, um, blow the sensor with like really strong air. Um, and it's constant too. Guys, thank you for watching Guam Photography. And if you haven't, please subscribe.